Hello everyone, here is a uh, another fan I got today. Uh, yeah, we went and got um, another brass fan this time. This is a 1920s GEC Freezer 16-inch uh, desk fan. Yes, this is a uh, Freezer model. Uh, yeah, I arrived today. Um, unfortunately, the grill is uh, bent, so I'm going to need to sort that out at some point. But hey, oh well. Side view, back view. Not sure if you can see in there, but it is a brushed motor. The yeah, this fan, and uh, yeah, it actually, well, it, it does spark because obviously it's going to spark right in there because it's a brushed motor, and they will do that. But other than that, it doesn't spark at all. It just does go normal sparks, which is very neat. And like. <laughs> Unlike the river when I first got it. Yes, it's a very dusty. I think it's time we get on wrunging the fan. Enough being said, let's start to wrung it on low. doesn't sound the greatest but it is a brush motor and they do tend to make some odd noises. I think it's normal but no guarantee. It does need polishing. It's a lot more balanced than my uh, GEC Magnet 16 inch desk fan. But it does run slower, I think that's due to it having a weaker motor. It's not as powerful the GEC magnet, but it's still a powerful fan to be fair, it's still quite powerful. I guess let's turn it off. Yeah, spin down's not great, but it is a brush motor, and in brush motors, spin downs are never going to be great for them. Um, to be fair, the fan does have a heavy brass blade, so that's probably why it would take her quite a bit of time to get up to its max speed, because it, <laughs> it is using heavy blades. Uh, they're slightly less pitched than the magnet, though. Look, if I turn the fan on, you can see... Uh, Box down there. But n nothing else here, which the Revo used to have a load going around here. Yeah, there you go. Anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and see ya.